girl, I never saw this coming. But Kiki Palmer is suing her good-for-nothing, jobless baby daddy, Darius Dalton, for roughing her up on multiple occasions, including in front of their son. And you know when Darius started dating Kiki, a lot of people insisted that there was something about Darius that rubbed them the wrong way when they first saw him with Kiki, because he gives weird and creepy vibes. Honey, I can confirm that once again, y'all were right on the money, because apparently, during the time they were together and even after they broke up, Darius was using Kiki as his punching bag. And while he was enjoying her money, this man needs to be arrested ASAP. Uncle Steve ain't trying to get you with no billionaire. He trying to get you with somebody that has a plan to have something. That's what I keep trying to get you to do. What can I say? Uncle Steve really did try to warn Kiki. So according to court documents filed by Kiki, Darius has been unhinged, volatile, and dangerous to both her and her son. In her filing, Kiki alleged that Darius attacked her multiple times over the past two plus years, including most recently the weekend before she filed. And get this, Kiki also alleged that some of the things that were happening took place in front of their son. She actually described multiple instances of physical and emotional mistreatment in writing, and also provided security camera video stills as evidence. There have been instances where Darius has destroyed her personal property, including diaries and prescription eyeglasses, throwing her belongings into the street, throwing her car keys to prevent her from driving away, spewing profanities about her to their son, threatening to unalive himself with a gun if she left him, and all other nasty, nasty forms of her... It's just sad how everyone was laughing and cracking jokes at Kiki Palmer for staying with her baby daddy. And this whole time he was blackmailing her by threatening to off himself if she left him. One of the incidents that Kiki mentioned in the filing was that on or around April 21st, 2022, they went out to eat at a restaurant in Santa Barbara when Darius allegedly became upset after accusing Kiki Palmer of flirting with a woman, causing them to head back to their hotel early. Yeah, this man is literally in the head. She also said that Darius love bombed her, stating, Darius would love bomb me and make me feel like I was the most important woman in the world, only to get extremely distant and cold over a perceived insult to him. If we were at a party or event and I spoke with one person too long or looked at someone a certain way, he would storm off in a rage, accuse me of cheating on him and that I did not love him. Darius had a way of gaslighting me to make me feel like I was doing something wrong even though I wasn't. So Kiki thought that that ending the relationship with Darius would help her. But apparently, he only became worse after they broke up. About the recent incident after the breakup, Kiki wrote, he trespassed into my home without my knowledge or consent, threatened me, then physically attacked me, lunging for my neck, striking me, throwing me over the couch, and stealing my phone when I told him I was going to call the police. She said that when all this was happening, her sister was upstairs and her mother was on the phone. And she also said that when Darius showed up, he also wanted to take Leotis with him. Reportedly, the police arrived before Darius left her home, interviewed everyone, and encouraged Kiki to file for a DV restraining order. And Radar Online managed to get a hold of the stills from the security footage. And Darius is seen putting his hands on Kiki, throwing her over the couch, and taking her phone. In the court documents, she went on to describe another disturbing incident that took place in February when Kiki showed him a bikini picture. Kiki mentioned that she proudly shared a bikini picture picture with Darius to celebrate her post-pregnancy workout results after having her first child. Mind you, she didn't show this picture to anyone else or try to post it on Instagram. She just wanted Darius to see her results. But Darius became furious. And on the drive home, he behaved so erratically that Kiki thought he was trying to take them both out. She wrote in her declaration, on the drive home, I was worried that he would get into an accident because of how angry he was. Darius spent the rest of the night yelling at me, not letting me sleep so he could keep yelling at me. In the bedroom, he slammed me on the floor and slapped my head from side to side. Ugh, that's just evil. As it stands, Kiki wants physical custody of her son. And she also filed for a restraining order as well as a request for a DV restraining order. In the restraining order, she made sure she noted that Darius is six foot four and 210 pounds, and also wrote that she was very concerned for her son's safety around his father, given his volatile and jealous nature, adding as a reason the lack of restraint Darius has already shown regarding his temper in front of their son. She also requested no contact from Jackson and for him to stay at least 100 yards away. And she does not want Darius to be granted visitation rights and doesn't even 
even want child support from him. Baby, what child support? You were literally providing for them both. She also asked the court to restrain Darius from harassing her by publicly commenting about her, her family, and or their son online and have him complete a 52-week intervention program. According to Kiki, it is because of their son, Leo, that she was finally able to end her relationship with Darius once and for all and escape the torture. She wrote in her declaration that Leo is the most important thing in the entire world to her, and he needs and deserves to be safe and grow up in an environment free from any sort of harm. And here we were, thinking the relationship ended because Usher was serenading Kiki at his concert. And y'all already know the loser behavior he showed online at the time. He actually tweeted about not approving of what his baby mama wore while attending Usher's concert, writing, it's the outfit though, you a mom. After that tweet went viral, he added, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others, and he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. You know Kiki was actually dragged through the mud by some people for disrespecting Darius and herself, but there are people who also saw right through Darius and called out his controlling tendencies. First of all, he called her out publicly when he could have addressed the situation privately. And then there's how he called Kiki his wife when they never got married in the first place. And the tone he used was just off. Interestingly, she actually tried to hint that she was going through hell, but people just never saw it. Remember that mass deletion by Kiki and Darius on their social media platforms that happened in 2022? At the time, Kiki even suggested that Darius actually did her dirty when she posted on Twitter, anybody dating an Aquarius is strong. Now, 2022 is just last year. And since, Kiki said that Darius had been mistreating her for over two years. It means that she was possibly talking about that, but didn't give it to us straight. In fact, come to think of it, the signs were right in front of our eyes, y'all. Like when someone said that no grown man would sit and text their girl all day, Darius responded, only reason why I'm not gonna text her all day is cause I'm with her all day. Darius has also done and said a couple of other questionable things. Like when he retweeted, what if we are both red flags? He also retweeted another post that said, my wife being the breadwinner, me showing her the Sixer City Edition jerseys. Wait, wait, wait. So you want to tell me that homeboy was comfortable and okay with Kiki being the breadwinner? And when she went home, blows and punches were waiting for her? Honestly, this is next level psychotic. Remember, Darius was also trending at some point after being accused of being a trashy human being by his ex-girlfriend, Taylor Marie. Allegedly, Darius pressured Taylor into getting rid of their pregnancy just three weeks before he went public with his relationship with Kiki. Taylor spilled the tea when she uploaded a short clip on TikTok and added a text to the video that read, when he gets you pregnant, presses you to have an and three weeks later is booed up with Kiki Palmer. Taylor then deleted that video and re-uploaded it, but in the second video, she censored out Kiki Palmer's name and captioned her new post, let's try this again. Not gonna name drop, only spread awareness that if you've been through this ish, you're gonna get through it. You know what this means? That Darius possibly targeted Kiki and he knew exactly what he was doing from the very beginning. I mean, the only information about what he does is that Darius has worked in both the fitness and entertainment industry for over six years. He has his own own YouTube channel, which isn't doing that great, and has been working as a fitness instructor at Inspire Fitness. But other than that, there are no other sources of income. But get this, Darius also has every intention of fighting back, with sources close to him spilling that he is also allegedly seeking full custody of their son. One of his friends who spoke to Media Takeout said that Darius has been the primary caregiver for Leo, and so it makes sense for him to get custody. And since Kiki is the breadwinner of their family, he should also get child support. Also, since Darius had been living in Kiki's Los Angeles mansion, he believes that he deserves to get her home too. According to the friend, it also makes sense that Darius should get the house since Leo was born in that house. And so he should continue to be raised there without disruption. Girl, it's the audacity for me. And this man literally tweeted a photo of him and his son with the caption, I love you, son. See you soon. Girl, this entire situation is just messed up. But I want to know your thoughts on this. Did you see the signs? Let me know in the comments section below.